Hello, you sentient ball of stardust. My name is Casey Davis. I'm a therapist, and I'm an author of the book, How to Keep House While Drowning, where I talk about ways to make it a little bit easier to take care of yourself when you're overwhelmed, stressed, have mental health issues, physical health issues, or maybe you're just in a hard season of life. Maybe you're looking for a place that you can come and listen to some practical advice. This is a podcast for all of the self-help rejects. We're going to talk about skills for survival and self-kindness. And I'm going to leave the pop psychology at the door. I promise not to tell you to meditate or to journal. We're just going to give you some really insightful conversations with hopefully some practical advice. So I don't believe you need to pick yourself up by the bootstraps. I don't want you to just try harder. And I don't believe that laziness exists. So join me over on Struggle Care, where we can find compassionate solutions that help us function a little bit better. Of all the kitchen hacks I know, Better Than Bouillon is my favorite. It's great for broth, of course, but you can also use Better Than Bouillon as a flavor enhancer. Just a spoonful adds so much flavor to stir fry, sauces, even marinades. Plus, they have reduced sodium and organic options and the culinary collection, which includes amazing flavors like Italian herb and smoky chipotle. Make everything better with Better Than Bouillon. For free shipping on two or more jars, use code BETTER at betterthanbouillon.com. Stove Leg Media, igniting conversation. All right, all right, all right, y'all. Hello and welcome to I've Been Thinking's first episode. My name is Elena Grace, and I'll be your guide along this journey. I'm really excited to take you into some of the thoughts that I always want to talk through, um, but it makes my friends and family kind of think I'm crazy sometimes. So... I've still not quite perfected my seven second pitch of the pod yet, but the essence is this. Every episode will be taking us through some idea, some concept, um, whatever it is, applying analyses of culture, political science, popular media, some combination of those things, um, and then just in general, talking through things to hopefully gain some new insights into whatever this topic is. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert on much, honestly, but what I want to do here is to encourage critical thought, thinking outside the box. I want to inspire, hopefully, all of you listeners into thinking about ideas and more in new and interesting ways, expanding your own worldview and also exercising your ability to think about things beyond just what you've been told to think about, right? I mean, there's this whole world of uh, school teachers, (laughs) influencers, celebrities, podcasters, don't even get me started on the media, telling you what to think. Or even worse, they don't even have to tell you what to think. Like, what if your brain is just so bored into oblivion that it just passively accepts whatever it hears as the truth? And, you know, listen, if you realize, oh crap, I've not been researching things and truly forming my own, um, like, super educated opinions or whatever... There is no shame in that. I have found myself there more than a few times. It's so much easier. It is so much easier to just chill out, listen to what you hear on the news, listen to what, you know, your best friend or your roommate or your boyfriend or your parents tell you and be like, all right, well, that's the way it is. It, I mean, it's like you're a sheep just kind of trotting through the pasture, and you're happy like that, right? But I challenge you, as I've challenged myself personally, to move past that, to make sure that you engage your brain and you think about things critically. My point in this is to say that I hope to show you 
sometimes through me monologuing, and sometimes through conversations with friends, family, connections who are knowledgeable in a certain field maybe, that certain, that some ideas are more complex than we've been led to believe. And in thinking about these ideas as more than just what you originally realized, you will become more as well, right? Complexity is key, my dudes. By diving into things a little bit differently than you were taught in school or a little bit differently than you were taught on the History Channel or by Instagram or by Facebook or whatever, by thinking about things differently, you're able to gain a much better understanding of the big picture, of how other people think, you know, all of that stuff. And I think it really opens you up to new ideas in general, um, but it also opens you up to the possibility that there is more happening in this world than just what is in your bubble, if that makes sense at all to you. Now, this was just a quick little intro uh, to kind of explain what's going on here and introduce myself. So now I'm going to do that. I am 24 years old from Kentucky. I went to a private school for undergrad and I just finishing up my master's program, graduating in May 2020. I am fascinated by political science and anthropology, which is probably that why that's what I've studied. And I love applying politics and culture to try to gain a deeper understanding of the world, which is kind of what I'm bringing to you in a way here. I love to travel. I even had my own Mamma Mia moment in Japan. Mamma Mia is one of my very favorite movies, by the way. Uh, most recently, my boyfriend Adam and I just returned from an incredible trip around Ireland. The only thing about traveling, though, is that most of the time I have to leave behind my angel puppy, Wynn. She is the cutest, best little pup ever. Uh, she's a brat, and you'll probably hear her in the background of some episodes, so get ready for that. Um, I love to eat good food and to drink wine, um, but I try pretty hard to stay healthy, too. I believe that life is a great balancing act. But most of all, I believe that our greatest purpose is to find happiness for ourselves and to give happiness to others. I relentlessly chase joy and I'll be honest with you, talking about these things, these ideas, it gives me great joy, guys. So I am really excited to start this project with y'all and I really hope you get something out of it as much as I get out of sharing with you. For our first piece of real content, we'll be talking about accents, dialects, and where they come from, kind of, and why you should be proud of them. And we're doing that with my roommate, Allison. Yeah, that's that, guys. Thanks so much for listening to this little intro. I'm really excited to get started. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at I've Been Thinking Podcast. Oh, sorry, at I've Been Thinking Pod. And uh, let us know, you know, any thoughts you have, any suggestions for the future. All right, that's it for now. Thanks, guys. This is Elena Grace, and I'll talk at you next week. Bye. Hello, you sentient ball of stardust. My name is Casey Davis. I'm a therapist and I'm an author of the book, How to Keep House While Drowning, where I talk about ways to make it a little bit easier to take care of yourself when you're overwhelmed, stressed, 
have mental health issues, physical health issues, or maybe you're just in a hard season of life. Maybe you're looking for a place that you can come and listen to some practical advice. This is a podcast for all of the self-help rejects. We're going to talk about skills for survival and self-kindness. And I'm going to leave the pop psychology at the door. I promise not to tell you to meditate or to journal. We're just going to give you some really insightful conversations with hopefully some practical advice. So I don't believe you need to pick yourself up by the bootstraps. I don't want you to just try harder. And I don't believe that laziness exists. So join me over on Struggle Care, where we can find compassionate solutions that help us function a little bit better. New on Curiosity Stream. I'm James Burke. I'm going to take you on a journey through time. James Burke's visionary series returns, reimagined for our time. Now, this is all uncharted territory. The Washington Post hails Burke as one of the most intriguing minds in the Western world. The New York Times raves he careens from one great moment in history to another. Where do we want to go from here? Experience all new connections. So what's the next connection? With monthly, annual, and bundled plans, find the one that works for you at curiositystream.com.